welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, you've got the all new Legos, and it's from Disney Junior, Spidey and his amazing friends. It's apparently a show, and they come out with this one, which is the Green Goblin's Lighthouse. This looks awesome, guys. You gotta take a look. We have to build it. First of all, you got all the brands there. You got Lego, you have Marvel, then you have Disney Junior, and then you have on Disney Junior's show, Marvel, Spidey, and his amazing friends. And it's cool because you got Spider-Man, Ghost Spider, and then you have Miles Morales. It's called the Green Goblin's Lighthouse, and you got the number 10790. And it's got 149 pieces. Woo! It's within my realm. <laughs> And then you can see that what makes it cool is that you got Miles Morales is swipping the Green Goblin and he's throwing a pumpkin head at him, a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Those explode, so you gotta be careful, you know. On top of the lighthouse, you have the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern to let you know that it's definitely the uh, Green Goblin's house. And why would you want a lighthouse? Well, if you look down below, you can see why, because look, there's an actual dungeon or bars there. I guess he cages up all the Spidey friends. And then you got the Sandman. I guess he's helping out the Green Goblin. He's got a map and he's looking for treasure. So you got a ship right in front of him and then he's got a lego that he's sitting on that actually is on the track and so when it goes underneath the lighthouse all the way around you can see there's a treasure chest so they're mining for gold and anybody who gets in their way i guess they lock him in the dungeon or maybe that's just a way to get down into the depths of wherever they're mining imagination is the limit this is really cool and then it says model does not float and so here are the four characters you get you get miles morales the spider-man you get ghost spider you get the green goblin and you get sandman and so the only ones that interfere and get in the way to uh i guess to plot under this treasure, or maybe they stole it and they're just trying to bury it, is uh, Ghost Spider Gwen and uh, Miles Morales, which is going to be cool because we're looking forward to the new movie that's coming out, um, Spider-Man Across the Multiverse. Guys, we're excited that. We also have another video on the action figures strictly for that show there. And you want to like and subscribe because as we get more, we're going to show you. So there's the front and oh, the side. That just shows you the actual size of the uh, Ghost Spider Gwen. Uh, pretty much all the characters about that size, okay? Of course, it looks gigantic when you zoom in, but you know, in real life, without using the zoom lens here, that's about a yay big. So here's the back. So you get the four characters and you get the pumpkin head, a jack-o'-lantern that uh, Green Goblin's gonna throw at you and explodes and you get a crab. And you got the Green Goblin, his like jet rider. And then also you get like a Ghost Spider Gwen's water skeeter there. And then you got the chest, you got the red ruby, you get some uh, gold pieces, you got the map. In any case, we'll go over all that, but you got some scenes here that they're playing out. So you have Spider-Man jumping over to get the Sandman as he's got the treasure, stolen treasure we assume. And then you got behind another scene, the Green Goblin who's caught and then you actually got the cage there that ghost spider locks sandman in it so there's a lot of ways to play this out and it says learn to build so that's what we're going to do let's go ahead and open this up you got two uh, fingers uh, right here it says go ahead and punch here right there okay that makes it nice i just don't want to rip the box if i don't have to except maybe like that see then it looks good and you're like hey it's brand new Okay, that's gonna be for reference. Whoa, what is that? They must have wrapped their instruction booklet in here because I don't see an instruction booklet, but I've never seen this before where it's actually behind the cardboard. I'll just go ahead and, I mean, you can see the Legos here, right? On the back and then on the front. And so I assume it just means, hey, the booklet is inside. Wow, that was fancy. And it looks like we've got, oh man, we got three, four. Oh, there's one, two. Okay, so there's the first one. There's the second one. So the first one's gonna be Ghost Spider Gwen. You're gonna build her on her little uh, getaway island. She's stranded, I guess. And then two, oh, this is the coolest part because look at the orange Halloween with the green goblin and the pumpkin head. Oh, and then three here, Sandman, who's just zipping back and forth on his little uh, Disneyland ride. <laughs> and then you've got, <laughs> Miles Morales, and he's got stranded ship, the pirate ship. Arr! So that's how we're going to build one, two, three, four. So there's three, four, two. And there's one. You see, some of it just doesn't have a number on it. So we'll just uh, improvise as we go. We'll improv. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is going to build Gwen. So we just got to open up bag one, right? Okay, don't let it roll anywhere. No rolly rollies. Okay, oh, look at that ghost spider. She looks, I just gone, look, I just gonna assume that that's her and she's the only one in here. Look at that spider right there, how it's glowy. That looks awesome. And then where's her bottom right there? And then, oh, she's gotta have a hat. You know, she's got a, some sort of cowl that she pulls over her head. I mean, where's that at? Yeah, she's going some deep sea diving, you know, because I don't think spiders can breathe underwater, you know. Anyways, oh, then she usually have a cow, but that still looks cool right there. I was just expecting just a little bit more, but I, you know, looking at the picture, okay, now it makes sense. So then it shows you how to build it for uh, the wee ones, you know. You got your left hand, your right hand. You put your left hand out, you put your right hand out, and you shake it all about. So it wants this one in the left hand, and it wants a purple dealy in this hand, and then it wants you to put it underneath all like this. Ooh, that's fancy like that. Okay, we're cruising now. And then this one goes at the bottom, and that one goes at the bottom. And then we got a hooky, and then that goes there. And there's the front of it. 
goes like that. And then there's the handlebars right here. Just like a regular tricycle. Oh, this just looks cool. I like Gwen's own little uh, watermobile there. That's awesome. So we're done with that. And now we're gonna build her uh, island here. There we go, that's right in the middle. That's cool, hey, if I was stranded, at least I got a getaway card. It's a jet ski, woo! Oh, she can turn her hands, right? She can hold it, I believe. Let's go ahead and put her in there. Oh, it actually bends down, that's cool. Yeah, that looks awesome, that works, that's cool. I love that. All right, so this one's gonna go in front of it. This one's gonna go in front of that, on top of that, to make it look nice and smooth. And then this one's gonna go, oh, it's gonna cover that point right there. Oh, and here's the tree, right? And that's just gonna go up like this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look, it, it's pretty mobile. You can move it roundy, roundy, roundy. And then if you're confused of where, how many pages you have left, you see Gwen, she moves at the bottom of the page. As you turn each page, she gets to the end, okay? Okay, and then we got these two things right here. And then what we're gonna do is gonna put it on one side and then the other. Okay, cool. Are we at the end? Oh, we still have this dude. Okay, right hand. <laughs> okay, and then the crab could just be right here. Good, I'm glad because, you know, when you move it around and stuff, you don't want the him to just like get away because that's your dinner. And so what's cool at the end, it's gonna show you that we built this part right here, but everything else is faded. That's what we yet to have build. And then we'll just go ahead and join up. So we're done with booklet number one. Woo, yeah, we graduate. We go in second grade. Woo, we're now building like uh, the Green Goblin's lighthouse. And so number two, he's just kicking on this. This looks good. Oh, look at that. So there's his uh, digital readout right there, his monitor. So he's monitoring Ghost Spider. And then I guess that's Sandman and that's him. And there's it, all four of them. So the bad guys are over here. The good guys are over here. And you can see that little ship that's wrecked right there. That looks awesome. And look, he's got one pumpkin thing, pumpkin head right there. He needs to collect three more. He needs enough to take Spooderman out. Look at that. That's such a cool, man. That ought to be the Green Goblin's head. And then look at this. So the Green Goblin, he's got two faces. He's got this one like, don't capture me. I didn't steal any gold. <laughs> and you got this side. It's like, yes, I did. You take this pumpkin head that's explosive. Boom. And just blows up, you know, Spooderman. So yeah, you can have the fear in his eyes when he gets caught. In fact, let's go ahead and build him looking like a snake that he is. Okay. Oh, and then he's got his purple hat. Oh, he's got his elf. Hey, St. Patty's Day, you know, here. Yay. He's a green leprechaun. Toy, 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 toy. Be sure to like and subscribe. I would do it too. That looks awesome. He's got his little, okay. I just look, I haven't even opened this up and I'm just already like putting things together. He knows how to decorate his grenades here. <laughs> That's a little green dot to it. And apparently he can hold it. Oh yeah, he can. That is so wicked. Okay, now we're gonna build his like a uh, flying light -like jet here. <laughs> I don't have the technical terms. It's been a while since I've seen the green goblin here, but yeah, he flies on this thing. And so we're gonna go ahead and build that. And there's the jet side. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. So, oh, he's going to actually have a green smoke coming out. Toxic smoke. Man, he's polluting the environment. we got to get that green giblin goblin, man. Look at that. But it's cool how he's doing it. Hey, if you're going to pollute the environment, might as well do it like with like oohs and ahs. Ooh, ah, because that looks cool. Look at that. That's a green just coming out. That green poop. And you can actually turn it so it looks even cooler. Oh my goodness, we gotta saddle him up. So he's a daredevil. He like rides in the front seat, not in the back seat, okay? That looks awesome. We got uh, one, two, three, and then it's gonna go here. Oh, really there, and there. Man, can you imagine if he had a thousand Legos, that lighthouse could just be like totally wrecking, man. That just, and actually had a light you turn on the side. Boo! Boy, that'd be nightlight, you know, to find your way to go to the baño. So, we, oh, we got this. And we don't have to put any stickers. See, the more advanced Legos, they'd actually have you put the stickers on. Why do it when they can do it for you kind of a thing? But I really love this. This looks cool. Okay, we got red lights. Uh, oh, this is just a warning. Maybe it's a red alert if one of these guys shows up or one, uh, the Sandman is partners down. On that side, on that side, and that goes on the top. This bag that's not numbered, it's showing me that I gotta get this one because I'm looking one with the two like windows. So it's in here. I like those tracks. Woo woo. Oh man, look at that. It's so wicked. It's awesome. If he was caught on the streets in Halloween, he could get away with anything he wants because they just think he just prank and he's not really an evil dude. And we're going to put this one on the front and this one is going to go on the top here like this. That one's going to kind of part. You don't want to do that. So we have a normal one. Then we had one with the window and that one's going to go. The window's going to be facing the other window. So we got to put it facing that way and then go like this. Okay. And then this one's going to go on top to, cause you know, you don't want to have it open like that. Oh, round and round and round it goes where it stops. I finally know. And then you got these two things. So this one's going to go on the back. 
Uh, actually, there's, it's gonna go in the middle. You got this little cute green goblin making his way across the page. Look, we're almost done. And that goes there. This is gonna lock in on here. You know the Batman signal where he's like, he's, hey, Commissioner Gordon, we need Batman. All of a sudden, he's like, boo. Well, this actually signals the Green Goblin. It's a big lighthouse. It sends out the pumpkin. Boo. And he's like, Wah! summons him in. What evil do you need done now? That looks awesome. It's completed here. So now it shows you at the last page, we're going to start attaching things to this. We already built the island. Now we just got to build the uh, stranded ship, it looks like. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, it's all about the base. The base. We got to not forget the base. Three. We got Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman. Yes. Bring me a dream. Bring me the cutest that I've ever seen. I watched too many shows, man. When I was a kid, he just has his front face. He doesn't have a back uh, duplicitous face here. He's got a kind of receding hairline, but it's nice because it's streamlined. All those brown pantaloons. Okay. I thought I'd just go with the green goblin, but no, he's a little bit rebellious. He's not all green. So you can pinch him. Ow, ow, ow. Well, down here, not up here. So there he is. So there you go. That's what we're building right here. We got the Sandman. We got the tracks. We got the uh, foundation of the lighthouse, it looks like. And so we built him. Oh, he's got the map. So there it is. Let's see if we can get a close up on that one. So you got a little ship up here. Oh, looks cute. And a little dotted line. There we go. Nice. We're starting away. And this time you got Mr. Sandman making his way across the page to like success and completion of his evil plot here to build this. I mean, there's your bars. <laughs> okay. This is where this comes into play right here. The big thing. And then we got uh, these two things this way here. So they start the kids off at Wii levels, about this hand is this hand, and then you become addicted, and then you got to buy all these Legos. They get you addicted to this! I had to get this one. How many pieces, guys? 4,080. If we get 5,000 likes, I'll build it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> because that's a lot. We got that a while back. I thought that just looks cool, but man, that's going to be a time burglar. <laughs> so <laughs> we just got to make sure we can do this. So let's go ahead and build this one because then you just become addicted to it like, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and this is like seven spices. Oh man. This is going to be the cage, it looks like. And so I got to make sure that's facing me and that this goes in. I guess it doesn't matter either side. No, there is a side actually. So it's going to go this way. Wow, okay. And then this goes on this side. That looks cool. Look at that. Look how just like. Oh, ah! <laughs> You can't get them out. But it opens and shuts really well. And it's going to go on the back side right here. I only got two more of these. And it's going to go on this side. And this side. Oh, so it goes there. And they're going to go out. Oh, there we go. Oh, then we got another door here. So this one's bigger. And this one's got bars. And I'm going to put it on this side, it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. It does open, I think, but they want it shut. Hmm. Okay, it's shut. And that one's going to go, oh, so that goes on this side. So this one leads you into it, and then this one seals you in. Oh, man, that's like, God, that could be like Zoinksville. That's what they do. You know, the villains put them in here, and they lock it up in high tide. You know, the heroes will drown. But it's your play. That's what makes it fun, guys. Righty-ho. And there we go. That way it kind of keeps it solid, you know, so it doesn't break apart as easily here. Okay, we're extending out our patio. Uh, and it's so, okay, so which one track? I guess they're both the same. We'll see if they are. I'm gonna stick that underneath like this. And then we take this and the track. Okay, let me face it my way, see if I did it right. And it's gonna go uh, like this. Like that, guys. Doesn't that look cool? Tracks can ride up, hit the yellow part. That eh, looks awesome, man. I love that. Okay, am I supposed to repeat this? I guess. I think that's what they're going to do. And then, okay, right, 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 right. So let's go ahead and do that. We're almost done with you, Mr. Sandman. Yeah. Let me take this, and then we're laying it across there. And we got two of these, and they're going to go out. And there's supposed to be four of them. So one's going to go here and here. And then the other one's going to go in the back. Right here and then here. Okay, then we got this other really right over down here. i got to make sure because there's an inside which has divots up at the top. And that's got to be turned inside this way, okay? Okay, I just want to make sure I get that right. Okay, then we got uh, a, like bridges here. So we're going to bridge the gap, it looks like, here and here. And we got something flat and it's going to make it look kind of nice. It's going to be connecting right here, it looks like. Oh, on the top. It's gonna come out like that. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes, yes, good. Oh, you know, I face it my way. And they're gonna go this way on the green. It's gotta be green, man. It's the green goblin. That's what he do. And it's gonna go, I believe, like that. <laughs> 
No, because it's going to go on top of this, and it's going to go, let me make sure I face it this away, and so it's going to be facing like this, and that's got to be up. There we go. We have this. It's going to lock in like that. Ooh, trap door. Oh, wow. Well, how do you get it up? You might have to get a little help. Oh, here's the handle. Nice. Okay, so it's got to be turned inward for the handle. Yeah, baby. Oh, where's uh, Sandman? He's in with this. Ah, we locked him in. Kind of hard to get him out. We shake him out. That's pretty deep down there. Let's see if I can actually stick him on an extension there. Oh, there goes his map. His feet were bending. They weren't helpful. Actually, if I open this up, I can see him here. Oh, positioned right down here. There you go. He's locked up. Woo! Let's shut the cage there. <laughs> but maybe that's his hidey hole, you know. That's where they do their evil work. But you know, like cameraman said, you know, high tide comes in and that's bye-bye. Okay, next we got to build, it's not the barbells, it's actually the uh, wheels for the, uh, the mining cart. So I turn this over and it goes like this all right that and then it says you ought to be able to put this on here like this oh it snaps on oh, look at that <laughs> you guys want to see that Woo! Woo! that's cool man oh, i love it that's so awesome so who gets the joy of riding it oh he gets the joy ride so he's with his map he's like oh he's got the low bar here oh he can't go on the house map yeah, he's got to be careful. His map, he can't be bragging, going, hey, look at my punk. <laughs> that's not going to work, you know. So, yeah, that's what it shows in the picture. It just shows it this way on this side and him on this side. And he's got his map and he's got his thing right here. It doesn't matter where, where you want to stand. I'm like, that works. Yeah. Then the last part, step number four, is we got to go ahead and connect, uh, build the shipwreck ship and then uh, put the island there. So let's go to that, number four. Oh, that's just cool, man. I love that. <laughs> We got us build Miles Morales, Spider-Man. And he only has one head, I mean, one face, you know. So, you know, there's his back of his head and there's his face right there. Looks totally cool. He's in his uh, PJs. PJ Maxx, want a PJ Maxx. I watch Disney Junior. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, and then he also has an underwater sea helmet too, okay. And then we have his extension uh, for the spooder web. So what we're gonna do is just cap it right there. It's cool how it's noodly, how you can just move it around, you know. So I can go like this, guys. It shows here that he's holding this web right, this part of the web right here, and how this actually goes around here. You can bend it out like that, and how that goes around behind him, it looks like, or over his shoulder, like this. That looks kind of cool. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and build our ship that's been wrecked. Let me face it towards me so I can see what the deal I'm doing. And then we got to do this, put it under here. I assume this is going to be the next one. This, and even though that goes there, and we're going to put that in the middle. That's going to go on the back. And then we just need a solid one that has no hole. And then we just put it in front. And we need a smooth flat top, which goes on the top, cover up the ugliness of that part. Okay, then we build our treasure chest, it looks like. So we got this in one hand. So you got little extensions, really tiny extensions here on the other side. And then you have little holes over here. So you're just going to go ahead and... Snap, snap, there we go. Okay, so then we gotta put our treasure in there so you can see the little treasures right here. We got our gold coins. It looks like we got some uh, rubies. It only shows one, but they do give you an extra one, it looks like. So it says in the chest, you're supposed to throw in the three king gold crowns and then your ruby there, and then you can go ahead and shut it. Yeah, we are rich. Okay, and so this one goes here, like that. Okay, next we need the hole. And that's gonna go on top of this, like that. And then we got the ship steering wheel. It's gonna go right in here. It spins really well. Love it when it does that. That's so cool. Now we got to build the mast. Gray is going to go all the way through or maybe halfway through. We're going to have this lock on one side and this lock on the other side. And that's just going to go right here. That looks awesome. Okay, that's it. We completed it all. And now it's just showing us how we need to put this all together. So at the island, when I got it facing, oh, wow. It didn't even show us. Did it show us? Did I miss this part right here? Okay, so that's got to go facing this way there we go and then with it facing that way this side I mean, look we got an extra gold coin yay so you see the extension here is supposed to go in the hole here okay so there we go oh that's satisfying and then here's the extension for the island here that's going to go in this hole right here I love how the palm trees just sway in the wind that's going to go there 
Oh yeah, that looks super cool, man. And he's just flying around. Can't hold him up here forever, so maybe you can put him up like he's flying across uh, the moon, the pumpkin moon or something. I don't know if we can like Lego him down in here like this, or maybe on the side, because that might work, right guys? That looks cool. Miles Morales, we're setting up our scene and she's speeding along. <laughs> There you go, guys. That's cool. I love that. And let me just put the shade over the island here. That looks awesome. So there's that side. You got the trap door lifting up that you can go ahead and put him down in here. You can also open up the uh, gate here. It looks like a cage here. And it goes all the way to the back. And you can see that this one is totally barred shut. It's supposed to be barred shut. So it looks like it's a cage. And then when you flip it over all the way to the back, you can see that's the Green Goblin's lair. It's his hideout where he does his operations, okay? And you can see his monitor, his screen there. That looks super cool. So when you're done flying around and locating everybody and you need to do a reconnaissance on like these guys, then you can go ahead and get off, get in the back. And then this, this is what you're supposed to do, okay? <laughs> he was taking a shower and you caught him. <laughs> and let us catch you guys for liking, subscribing. Thanks for watching. We've got more to come. This is one of my favorite Legos. It was simple, but it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Now onto the Fortnite challenge where I got to win in the Green Goblin skin. This is cool because I actually have the skin of the toy we're reviewing. <laughs> And if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop, in the bottom right hand corner, you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun, all one word. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out. Thanks guys. Okay, gonna go ahead and go to my favorite landing spot. It's a sand pit where you got kinetic blades and the bounty board. I mean, it's all about mobility for me to be able to actually win the game. Jump. Because mobility works in favor in two ways for me. One, if I'm in a tight spot, I can get out of it quick. And then two, when I'm looking for loot, I want to be able to hurry and bounce around and not look for like, I don't know, a car, a bike, and get caught up in that. And not a lot of people land here at this uh, sand pit. It's kind of funny looking, man, how does he hang on to that flying glider here? He's at a 45 degree angle, more almost 90 at times. Okay, this ought to be an easy capture. Nobody else is landing here, got it. Let's go ahead and get a bounty. And let's fly, my precious fly. <laughs> okay, and we look down, okay, there are, oh, let's take the bike, that'd be fun. Whee! <laughs> okay, I know it was a short drive, but hey, it was fun while it lasted. Okay, red eye, that's a good start. And okay, some slapets. Cool. Some ammo. And then let's shut this uh, paper thin door. Okay, I feel more secure. And then get some slurps. Man, I just love the uh, pickaxe, pumpkin pickaxe. And then let's do some slapets. And oh, hey, I didn't notice that. <laughs> we had six slapets. Usually they come in batches of three. Cool. I think I need all of them. Yeah, five left. Oh, okay, that worked out well. Okay. Uh, let's head over this way. Let's go to Frenzy Fields. Less action there. So I can get more time to scout around and find some adequate loot. Let's go to the next bush. It's kind of cool in this spot. Usually there's one or two people around here. Because there's like about four chests within the proximity of this little pond here. So there's one, there's two, and a uh, combat shotgun. Yeah, I'll take that. And then there's one over here on the other side of the pond. Let's see what's in there. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let me find some bamboo to cower behind. There you are. Boo. 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 Last one. There we go. Okay, cool. 
I'll go ahead and take the pistol. And then, yeah, Havoc shotgun, definitely over to combat. You know, I want to investigate what all the shooting is about over here. Okay, somebody's underneath me. It should be over there somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Karn stocks. Get some coverage. Uh, he's probably still looking for me, but here you go. I'm right here. Oh, there's somebody else to the right of me. Okay, I've got two players around here. And where's the dude? Okay, he's going over there towards the bush. Oh, they're splashing out. Can't have that. Let's go. Oh, she sees me. Okay. Whoa. Ouch. Oh, she's charging like a bull. Yeah, those dudes, man. Those sweats will go cray. Oh, cool. Legendary DMR. Let's grab that. Yeah, the sweats, man, they'll just run up because you know those Havoc shotguns, if they can get you right in your face, it's a done deal. What is Luke doing? Oh, he's doing an AUG out there. Okay, I'm like, you really shouldn't do that in the middle of nowhere. Everybody can see you. Uh, you should have used the force. Uh, maybe they did. And that's why they're running this way, because they saw me. Okay. Let's go pick up their loot. No, okay. Not yet. Somebody else is here. Man, it's pretty busy over here. Oh, there's somebody over there, man. Okay. Oh, there's somebody to the right, man. There's... Ooh, okay. There you is. Ooh. And there's somebody over there, man. I There's got it. There's... Okay, there's... Hmm. Oh, am I just a bad shot? Okay. Go back and grab all the loot. Uh, upgrade my Havoc. And let's grab this loot here. Nice. And then from Luke Skywalker, would you give me some juice? Now let's go and get a bounty, see if we can flush him out here. But Oh, there she is. She's crouching. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, just right below me. And there you go. Oh, you, you sneaky devil. 72. 40. Ouch. Ah. I gotta go. I can't be this close. You may one pump me. Ouch. Slap it, and then we'll go after. Reload. We're ready. Let's go. Oh, she just connected blade out of there. Yeah, let me grab the uh, pistol. Um, I don't know if I have enough time to open this up. I just don't want anybody to hit me. Oh man, I don't know, like I said, if enough time, this might take a full minute. The storm is gonna be closing in on me shortly. Man, the Green Goblin, just looking at his hat and his ears, he's like an elf or a court jester gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> he was kicked out of the kingdom because he couldn't make the king laugh. I think I got everything that I need. Okay, let's go. I go from one bush to the next. Plus it's green, I'm going green, I'm the Green Goblin. Oh man, if the circle ends up over the uh, water there. I hope I got my life jacket on. I hope those little pumpkins on his side are like a, a life jacket or a vest or a light buoy or something. <laughs> Nades may sink me to the bottom. I don't want to be out in the open. Too many people left. Must find a bush. I'm the bush warrior. I gotta go again. Oh yeah, that was a perfect kinetic. Kineticking, a, kine a perfect kin Yeah, I landed in the bush just right. It's Gwen, Spooter Girl. I liked you and your first Spider Man into the new universe, Spooter Girl. I don't think these guys are really getting the job done, but I don't want to shoot because I'll alert somebody who might be close to me to come in and take me out. I gotta get moving. Let's go. Ooh, I just barely missed the car. Oh, he's coming back. He's circling. There's somebody just above me. If I shoot, he may come over and pop me, and I can't stay here. 
And it's getting a bit sketchy here for coverage. Maybe hide behind the rock. Ooh, okay. Uh, somebody got the uh, spazzed out rifle. Okay, four players left. Let's go for a little ride. Okay. Shooting behind me and then like... Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think she sees me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. I don't want to be shotgunned. Oh, good. Jump pad. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, man. We're really out in the open. Jump pad. Again. Let's go. Oh, he's splashing it out. Oops. Ouch. God, there's no place to hide. Uh, it's 1v3. One in the water or two. Ow! Ah. I got no heals. Ah. Uh. Man, this guy and I got to keep jumping to get some air, but I got to get... Ooh. If he looks up and pumps me, that's not going to be fun. Oh. Rats, I missed him. Case 1v2. health left. Ooh, big hit. Oh, 1v1. It's the sweatiest game I've ever played, I think. Oh my gosh, yes. Guys, thanks for watching. I can't even emote at the bottom of the ocean. Those, oh, look at it. I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.